Now that your Mevos are all set up and connected, we're gonna get you up to speed on the Multicam app. You'll want to have a pair of headphones handy, and if your device doesn't have a headphone port, then you'll wanna grab the adapter, like the lightning to headphone adapter for the iPhone. All right, let's get to it. Let's do a quick tour of the main Multicam screen. Up top, we have the program monitor. This shows us what's being broadcast into the stream or recorded. You have an audio level meter for the program out. And to prevent a feedback loop into your mics, the audio monitor for your device is muted by default. If you want to monitor the audio, which I highly recommend during pre-stream testing, plug in your headphones. The down arrow right here will show the quality and then unused media space on your device. Below that, we've got camera feeds for each one of your Mevos. The red frame shows which Mevo is being pushed into the stream or recording. As you might imagine, you can easily switch between angles by tapping a camera feed. Each Mevo is also named, which you can see in multicam here, and also on the back of each Mevo. Then you've got go live and record buttons. More on those in a bit. Finally, you'll see three dots, which open up a new area to control each Mevo in depth. In the video presets area, you've got some sweet ways you can adjust your image. We're not gonna cover every feature exhaustively in detail here, but I do suggest you do a deep dive and explore what's possible. Now hop into the crop and zoom area. One of the most powerful features about your Mevos and the Multicam app is that you can digitally reframe each independent camera just as if you had a camera operator. Here, you can pinch and hold to adjust your framing, then release and the Mevo will transition there. If you want to reset the framing, just press the arrow in the bottom right. Another way to crop and zoom is to tap and hold. This uses a preset crop size and gives you several options for the transition, including cut, fast, or slow. You can press done to go back and see the program out. If you press the three dots at the bottom of the main multicam screen, you'll be able to access more custom control over transition speeds, and crop settings. That was probably like drinking water through a fire hose, but there were a lot of details to cover and I wanted to get through them all. This would be a good video to rewind and watch from the top a few times so everything sinks in. Or if your memory palace is all up to speed, let's hop into the next video where we'll cover streaming and switching. I'll see you there.